All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start by giving all praise and glory to y'all. Bashim Yahshua, Bashim Rakakbadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to all the brothers from this work of truth and sincerity. Um, real quick, I just have to get this. This is Isaiah 63 and 1. Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? Now, Basra was supposed to be the capital of uh, a stronghold or capital for the Esau. This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Now, who is this man? Let's read on. Verse 2. Art thou, why art, wherefore art thy red in thine apparel? So, there's, he's this is asking, why is his clothes red? And thy garments like him that treadeth in wine fat. I have trodden the wine press alone, and of the people there was none with me, for I will tread them in mine anger and trample them in my fury. So the Lord Yahweh Shah is coming back to kill a lot of people. You know? Yahweh Shah is gonna kill a lot of people now. And this is something, this is reality. You know, a lot of people finna be killed, man. A lot of wicked people finna be killed. You know, you got the other, uh, you got two thirds of our own people starting with them. That's what, hey, the judgment gonna start in the house of Yahweh Shemel Shah, man. That's where judgment starts. You know, but it's gonna end with you heathens, man. So, Jake is gonna get it first, man. Because Jake know better. Because we've been out here telling you, uh, you, well, not we, but um, the apostles have been out here warning you, hard headed bird brain Negroes. About your your doings, man. You know to get right with Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. You know, sir. You know, make a sacrifice for your life to take your life again, man. But this time is gonna be eternal, man. They've been warning you to turn from your wickedness before the day of judgment come. The day of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. The day of the fierce anger of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. Because the Lord has a controversy. He has a problem. He has a situation with you people, man. Why? Because you're hard-headed. You know? You're rebellious. And the scripture says... Let me get it. First Samuel 15, 23. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. And stubbornness is as inquility and idolatry. Because thou has rejected the word of Yahweh. He hath rejected thee from being king. So, what would you do with a witch? You put a witch to death, you know? You know? So, if rebellion is a sin unto witchcraft, what you do with a, a rebellious, stubborn-ass person, man? You put them to death, man. The Lord, the Lord ain't finna keep, you know, sending his prophets out there. You know, the Lord is tired of talking. You know? Yahweh Bashim is tired of talking to you people. He finna start slaying you motherfuckers. And then they're going to know it was the vengeance. And then they, they shall know that it was Yahweh, man. It, once that judgment comes, then they're going to know it's of the Lord, man. I, I think it's a precept. That said, I think it's a scripture that says that then shall they know. No, that's then shall they know that there's a prophet among them. Then shall they know my vengeance. So, hey, the Lord. Hey, this is the Lord's vengeance, man. We ain't shit. Yahweh Bashim Yahushua has a problem with you inhabit you the inhabitants of this earth. One, because of sin, man. Your iniquities. You know, one one iniquity that you people commit is homosexuality, bestiality, uh, idolatry, as at an all time high. All these things are at an all time high. Uh, adultery, um, st stealing. You know, thieves. They thief people that still they had a hard time high too, man. Um, murder, all time high. Uh, yeah, I should have said robbery instead of stealing. Um, uh, I named about five or six. Um, it's one more that I got on my tongue that I cannot think. Um, uh, one thing is called damn. What what is it called? Can well, no, I'm gonna say cannibalism, but that cannibalism finna come back in a big way. But um, people eating abominable uh, foods, people eating people, 
you know cannibalism some people you know somewhere in the world some people some tribes people do that man they eat humans man cannibalism but you majority of the people are eating abominable foods and that's another thing that the lord don't like because this world's ruler is sending out wicked vibrations man and everything is all fucked up man everything is fucked up everything is all out of whack so uh continuing on i was slot this is uh isaiah 63 and 3 i have tried in the wire and press alone and of the people there was none with me for i would tread them in my anger and trample them in my fury and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments and i will stain all my rings so the lord is going to come back killing a lot of fucking people man all you wicked people man and two-thirds of his own people verse four for the day of vengeance is in my is in mine heart and the year of my redeemed is come so the day of vengeance is in the Lord's mind. He's always thinking about it. You know, he's thinking about that day that he can put a put a uh, put his sprinkle sprinkle your blood upon your his garments, man. Kill you. The Lord said, "I came not to send peace, bring peace, but a sword, man." Matthew 10 34 think not that I am come to send peace on earth I came not to send peace but a sword so the Lord is coming to send a sword on earth why because there's this earth is being wicked being ruled by wickedness man you know wickedness is everywhere and the Lord is coming to kill the wicked man and it's going to be like the uh, brother Atazawam said man it's going to be a lot the spirit world is going to be flooded with you wicked spirits man You know, but um, I believe that was all on my spirit to get, you know, because it's, it's finna go down, man. The main event is coming, man. The day of Yahweh by Shemel Shah, the day, of, the day of the Lord's vengeance is coming. Man. And ain't nobody going to be able to save, ain't nobody going to be delivered but the elect, man. All the rest of you people, you, you're fueled to the fire, man. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom.